Okie dokie. So we are fortunate enough to have Alicia McKenzie today and we're going to be um, hearing from her about her story and her journey and what she's been doing. And of course, how you, if you are an artist listening into this or how you, if you are a creative listening to, into this, can grow your business. So let's get into it because she's going to be dialing in now and uh, hopefully we'll be able to hear her okay and go live. And if you've got any questions and we have time, then of course you'll be able to answer Alicia some questions as well. So once she's in the building, as she's dialing in now, are you there? I hope you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you perfectly well. So how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm so sorry about the Zoom. I just don't know what happened with the laptop. That's all right. No problem. So let's talk a little bit about you. And first of all, how did you get into what you're doing now? Because we know, or I know that you're a fabulous artist. Um, mm. I knew you at the very start of your journey, or at least I think it was the start of your journey. I met you at... Um, Freddie Krueger's uh, event through Freddie Krueger and Sherry Ann Dixon. Do you remember? Many yes. moons ago. Yes. And obviously now your business is flourishing and it's grown. So I wanted to invite you on as one of the first women that I would be talking to around your business as an artist and obviously juggling that as well. Mm. You know, working full time or working part time. And I just really wanted to give some insight to people that are watching today. So the first question I want to get into is how did you get into what you do now? How did you get into it? Well, I started off as a commission artist in 2008 and it was literally, I needed to make money. So it was an opportunity that came along and I put myself forward and I got paid and then the person came back and wanted me to do another painting. So it just kept going. From that point of view, I only knew how to paint. I didn't really know much about business. And then um, Freddie Krueger's, uh, Freddie Krueger, Freddie Nowaki's, um, um, event at the BAFTAs happened. I met you and Sherry at the BAFTAs and then got invited to one of your events and you really showed about the business side of things. So I started to look more into that. Um, so for the past, I say 15, no, 14 years, I've been doing commission work and just gently pushing out, um, watching you on YouTube, going to some of your events and stuff, um, mingling and networking. And then it was really in 2020 that I made that decision to really push my business a bit further. Mm -hmm. So I contacted you, I joined the group, um, you helped design my, um, my logo, uh, revamped my website. So I really took it to another level. Yeah. Um, and the originals started to flow. I was doing original paintings and charcoal drawings in 2020. And yeah, it just started to grow from there. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to take you back a little bit because you said, you know, you sold your first piece and then obviously the person that you sold that very first piece to then said, you know, you, they wanted more. How did that feel? Like being a, a new business owner, it's always nice when we sell uh, one or more than one of our items, of our products, of our service. So how did you actually feel? What, what did you feel like? What was the experience of knowing that, oh my gosh, I've actually sold something? It was amazing. It was amazing feeling. Um, it was, I think it was that exchange of you hand over your art piece and you get money back. And it was very like, people are actually paying for this. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just grew, my confidence needed to grow a bit more. But it was, it was an interesting moment because back then it was basically, I just needed to survive. Yeah. And so that buzz that I got from that was, I've got money, I've got paid. Um, but then over the years, I realized that it was more than just that. There was an exchange of this person's trust in me with their commission, with their art piece. So the excitement just grew from there. The love yeah. for that engagement definitely grew from there. But it was, yeah, it is a great feeling when someone values your talent and yes. values your work, yeah. your, 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 your service. So, yes. And it's interesting that you say that because when we talk about value and talent, I guess that can be applied to any business. Obviously, you're an artist, you do your figurative art, you do your abstract paintings and you've got your print. And we're going to talk a bit about that in a moment. But I think in any business, I don't know if people would agree that are listening in, when you like really get that first sale, when you understand that actually people are buying my stuff, it is really a nice feeling. And, and even if you haven't got your price right, which was actually my experience when you first start out, you kind of find your way. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that as well. So um, thank you for sharing that because it's, it's always nice to hear how people really started. So did you have a strategy? Obviously, I know 
later on in the kind of development of your business, you've, you've bloomed and blossomed into some amazing projects. But what was your game plan when you first started out? Did you have a plan? Because you said you were listening into like different things, my things, bits you might have found on the internet, going to events. Did you have in your mind like, this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to do it? As I said, from the beginning, it was kind of like just paint. Mm -hmm. um, the business element, like strategy, I, I didn't have a strategy. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, so I guess I get business cards. I guess I should be networking and talking. Yeah. But I didn't really understand how to go about doing it. Um, and back then, this was like, as I said, 14 years ago, I didn't know people that would be willing to share mm -hmm. their advice yeah um so i was so grateful when i met you and sherry because you guys were very much like this is how you can do it Alicia. yeah introduce you to xyz um so the strategy came later that's when i was kind of like okay i need to be visual i yeah. need to promote myself i need to you know see how i'm using my language and how do i sell my items how do i make sure the audience understands what i'm selling that all came over time yeah um, so yeah that was my my approach to strategy was just like, okay, let's just do it. And then finally fine tune that over time. Mm -hmm. and, and it's interesting again, because I think a lot of people do start like that. We start with like, okay, just, I'm just going to figure it out. I'm just going to try and make this work and make that work. And as you said, I guess I need business cards. I guess I need to attend that event. I guess I should do this. But when you then build, you know, and, and, and start understanding more and learning more and having people around you, I guess that also is part of, the strategy as well isn't it I, I have also had that experience as well so yeah it's very interesting that you didn't necessarily have a game plan to start with but as time went on you kind of grew and, and developed in yourself as well learning new things all right so I'm going to ask you now just to share as, as a business owner what methods worked for you best in terms of promotion do you have like a, a I, mean, I don't want to give I don't mean to give away your secret sauce but <laughs> do you have like a, 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 a suggestion on what you might say to another artist who's just starting out because i know for me i when i teach anyone i always say work at your own pace use mm. tactics to actually get results so do you have like a winning formula would you say you've got something now that works i do i remember because i know it's about being offline and online i know with the pandemic we basically had to go online yes. um so for me the online is about visibility it's about getting that information out um using your platforms to educate because some people don't understand the process of a commission mm -hmm. and i didn't understand that until i took my time out to understand what my audience so arts and the audience what is it you want me to explain or mm -hmm. um getting that feedback so the online strategy is visibility educate and build up that connection with people because it isn't just about uh let's see the whole network or building your contact list it is about connections yeah i think it's remembering that um with offline word of mouth is still a powerful tool um definitely um promoting those reviews and um, getting yourself out there so it could be it could be events and thinking outside the box because i know that you had a number of events where you had um soul traders coming along and doing like I, I remember I exhibited at one of your events as well yeah because not just galleries you can go to business events I've been to the BAFTA twice so it's tribute events so yeah. I've been committed to do that and that just builds so making sure that you're ready to sell yourself and having your work close by to see yeah and that's, um, that's an interesting point about being able to sell yourself because I think as artists sometimes the artist can be quite shy a bit like the online you know, service-based business, you're behind the scenes almost, unless you're someone who's very out there at exhibitions and galleries, or you're really out there doing, you know, paintings in the street, you know, you've got those people that will paint in the street and you pay them. Most artists are, well, from my experience, some of them are quite shy. They don't actually want to be forefront, you know? So how did you find that having to come out and almost sell yourself? Uh, and what did you experience in doing that? Um, I can guarantee I wasn't like this in the beginning. It was, um, I did get pushed out into networking because I realized in order for people to know who you are, you need to get out and meet people mm -hmm. and then become comfortable talking about what you do. Um, so it took a little while. And I think having that understanding that people want to understand who the person is behind the work, 
who the person is behind the goods or the services. So they want to know who you are, but then you are in control of how much you share. Um, so it is quite nerve wracking. Um, as an artist, we do tend to, we work quite isolated. Yeah. Um, we're very used to our own space. Um, so it is just taking those small steps. Yeah. And talking. Yeah. Definitely. And doing practice runs. I, I love practice runs. <laughs> so that helps as well. So what's um, a practice run? Tell us a bit about what practice run looks like. Practice run, which I've done a few times with you guys, is um, it's kind of introducing yourself. So it's kind of, my name's Alyssa McKenzie. I'm a visual artist. Someone will say, what is that? You like uh, portrait and um, abstract. Um, so it's just like fine tuning your cell points. What's yeah. the main point you want to get out? Because you'll only have people's attention for like five seconds. So yeah. what do you say in those five seconds to make sure they know who they're talking to? Yeah. And then you hear more. So yeah. it's fine tuning that. Yeah. Um, and being I love that. Yeah. yeah, I love that. because And that point about being comfortable, that last point there. Because a lot of people are trained or, or, or taught or led to do elevator pitches, which you know is not really my jam, right? I'm <laughs> more about when you're introducing yourself, be comfortable in what you're saying, be, co be confident in what you're saying. And yeah, if it changes a few times every time you introduce yourself, that's fine. But I try not to encourage people to sound like robots, which is actually what a lot of people are trained to do. Like, my name is Alicia and I do figure it out <laughs> and I can help you. you know? So for yeah. me, that was music to my ears. And obviously we haven't rehearsed any of this. We're just talking, naturally talking. But it's quite interesting that you said, you know, you, you did rehearse a little bit, but actually through practice, as you said, you wouldn't have previously been doing lives like this and stuff like that. But even if you're introverted, as business owners, we do need to learn to get exposure for ourselves, talk up what we're doing. And as you said, taking baby steps. Um, so I'm going to read through some of the comments in a minute. But something else I want to ask you about is what, what has been like one of the biggest challenges for you? Technology. <laughs> um, videos. Mm -hmm. I know that was a big challenge. So, like, stepping out into the reels, you know, people coming into my studio space, so doing yeah. those videos have been quite a challenge. Um, I think, I, yeah, I would say technology has been the challenge over the last two years mm -hmm. um, because it's it, there's so much going on and then you, you have the pressure of you need to be perfect. And I remember, well, this was a great example. I, I didn't connect. I had something else going on on my laptop and it wasn't working. I remember you did something and you was like, hey, this is life. I and mean, you're just, you were so relaxed about it. And I'm like, this is what we need to be. Mm. Just relax. Technology yeah. will mess up um, and everything is a learning curve. Yeah. So that's one of the biggest challenges was the technology side of things. Um, mm -hmm. That's for me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And thank you for sharing that. Um, okay. Um, and a biggest win for you. What's been one of your biggest success? I can think of so many that you've had. But what's one of the biggest ones you've had? Uh, I don't even know what the biggest one. There's, there has been many. This last two years have been, I mean, if I just like having my brand, people loving my logo. That was, I was so happy with that, that design. My website, that was the biggest success. Um, seeing the interaction with that. Visibility, people coming back and saying to me, oh my God, you're always online. You're always, and I'm like, am I? And then I realized it's because I'm being consistent. Yeah. Um, being one of the 21 people to watch in The Voice newspaper last year was one of the biggest successes, which was quite awesome. Um, and then joining Disrupt Space, being yeah. signed up to Disrupt Space agency. So having an agent, uh, I mean, that was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Fantastic. So that was in 2020 as well. So a lot happened. Um, and then the Yahoo commission. So yeah, it's not, yeah. yeah. And, Great and let, me, let me ask you a question. In relation to that project, are you allowed to share anything about some of the massive wins for that? Because I know you've got a really big win with a very well-known uh, name. Are you allowed to share anything on that? Not yet. There's still, yeah, there's, are you talking about the Yahoo one? Yes. Yeah. So it's, um, so with the Yahoo project that was last year, we were commissioned. Eight of us were commissioned. So yeah, I can share actually. It's hard. Okay. Um, Eight of us were commissioned to create pieces um, that would be um, minted 
for the NFT platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the piece above me, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that was just about, yeah, yeah, I love that piece, yeah. That I did, um, and that was in tribute to my sister who passed away, um, and that was that was an amazing, amazing project. It was first time working with a big organisation like that, Yahoo, and the Swap Space set it up, and it was two months of just pure hard work and learning about NFTs. Yeah. So yeah, we got into NFT space, and we had an interview with um, uh, Ade. Um, Oh, I can't remember his surname, but we had the interview with him um, at the Yahoo Studios, and yeah, the publicity around that was amazing. Yeah, definitely amazing. Yeah, I saw it and I was really blown away. I thought to myself, you know what? That's such a win. It's it's always nice to see people just ev developing and growing and building. And yeah. I remember actually when you were part of the Evolve to Grow community, and mm. you had an inquiry. Do you remember just shortly after we'd done your website, actually? And I remember you saying, V, I've got an agent. Hey, everyone. I remember yeah. you saying, V, I've got an inquiry from an agent. And like, I was like, what? And how did they find you? You know, yeah. and how do I do this, V? Like, how do I? And I know that you had got some support as well from our, our legal representative that works within the Evolve to Grow community. She helped you a little bit with your contract. And I guess that was another win as well, because I know yeah. you were saying at the start of this interview, you started off by just kind of paint. And look where you are now, you know, yeah. you're, you're, like, you're in contracts, you're in deals, you're, you're talking to people, uh, you know, in, in, in big organizations. And I just want to celebrate you for that, because I feel like I, there's a lot of women who are doing things and they don't blow their trumpets enough. But I think from where you started, even as you shared today, you know, having someone just say, OK, can you paint this for me? And then you paint it and they love it so much they buy another thing. That is empowering, isn't it? It's quite empowering for all of us to get that first sale in. And I think what I learned from you today is actually about the importance of being patient because yes. you might start off with just paint. You might start off with no strategy. You may even start off not really understanding technology. But if you can go from not understanding technology to actually working in metaverse with NFTs, that is a really <laughs> big testament to you because I don't even understand that stuff. Hi, you got Shay in the comments as well. People saying you know, amazing and and uh, saying hi. So, so the point of this uh, series is really to unveil, I guess, women who I'm connected to, women that I know of, who are doing amazing things. And I just wanted to bring you on so that you could share your experience. And for those of you that didn't catch this, I will put it on YouTube as well, uh, so you can see it. And please do leave us a comment in the chat now if you're with us live to share if there's anything you picked up. If there's any feedback you want to give to Alicia and Alicia do share with us how can we buy your your amazing paintings how can we connect because one of the other things that you did was you strategized and you came up with formulas and packages didn't you on the program and I know that where you started originally was paint but you did also move into print right you came up yes. with some solutions you found your printer you I remember you finding all the storage solutions and you were shipping stuff across the waters and do you want to just share something on that before we go? You, you've actually moved and yeah. evolved from paint to print to paint and print to NFTs. So just share some final words on that for anyone who's watching as a, as a point of encouragement. It's learning about your audience, um, understanding that you've got a different different clientele. So some would want originals and some would want prints like the one behind me. Um, doing your research. So... From, from being in the membership group, I learned about merchandising. So, prints, green, card, green cards, and then promotions, and doing like hot sales, so 48 hours discount. Um, and that was a that was definitely a leap for me because I never thought of merchandise. Um, so that was that was quite good, and I think it being open and having different options available is really important. Um, but being comfortable in that, yeah, being comfortable in that space. Whatever you do is it is your business at the end of the day. Um, so that was really good. And yes, yeah, so having the prints and stuff, and um, advertising it on my website, which is elysiamckenzie dot com, um, and also disrupt space. Um, I've got work selling via disrupt space. They're online as well. Um, so my work is out there, which is really great. And Bo Bo Art Studios. I've also got in their their gallery space as well. Brilliant. Yeah, my work is available for sale, and it's originals. It could be commissions, or it could be prints or greeting cards. There's different different values on there. Yeah, 
Before you go, have you got any prints? I, I know I, I'm putting you on the spot here, but have you got any prints you can just show us? That, have you got anything next to you? If you well, have, don't worry. You got anything? No, this is um, my purpose one with um, Chadwick and Denzel Washington. Yeah, this one is sorry, you know what, excuse me, I meant your postcards. You know your cards that you did? You got any of those? Oh, they're actually, they're downstairs, sorry. Okay, no worries. Yeah. I should, I should, we should have had a pep talk beforehand. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Uh, you, you were talking about the Denzel one behind you and, and Shay, uh, Chad. Do you want to just share on that? Yeah, so the prints come in different sizes. Even that, learning to actually explain the different sizes. I really, it was quite an educational time these last two years. Um, so this one is an A2, which is framed, um, which is also available via my website. Um, it comes in three different sizes and also greeting cards. So A3, A, A4, A3 and A2. Mm -hmm. This one here is actually original, original drawing of um, put pie from Desmond's because I love Desmond's. Um, so these are my Black Icon series. And the above one is part of the NFT, which is the original one that I've done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my website has all the different information, which is great. Brilliant, brilliant. So the website is? Is www.elysiamackenzie.com. And you can get me by that or Disrupt Space um to such space to org i believe so i can i can send that detail out um but they can also catch me online via instagram or facebook or linkedin fantastic it's Thank been you. an absolute pleasure uh, you. watching you blossom and you know do more Thank things you. and as, uh, to know that it started off with v can you do my website v, can you do my <laughs> my logo to then it becomes yes, an e-commerce sure. website and everything else it's been phenomenal and well done to you because you have Thank been you. instrumental in all of this. Without you as an artist, you couldn't even have, you know, what you've got behind you. So it's really encouraging to see the growth. Thank you for coming onto the platform. I'm going to put this on YouTube as well. And you can read through some of the comments. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching today. Um, we'll be you. back next week, Friday, with someone else that I'll be showcasing who is just as amazing. So make sure you've got your notifications on for Friday's at 2 30 p.m alicia thanks again thanks, thanks everyone bye, -bye. bye.